Judy, what are you doing, girl? Hi, Andy. Hello, Andy. How are you doing, handsome? How are you? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, you like it. That feels good. That's all I'm here for. I'm just here for pig back rubs and belly rubs and they just use me. When I was growing up, meat and dairy products were the mainstay of our diets. In fact, there was rarely ever even a vegetable that was cooking on the stove that didn't have a ham hock flavoring it, which of course I now know is a pig's knee. Cows, pigs, chickens, turkeys weren't a part of my life at all besides eating them, which is how most people are. When I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma, which is a type of bone cancer that was spreading from my ankle up my leg. My doctors and my mother had to make the very difficult decision to have my leg amputated. I felt very powerless to what was happening to me, and I sort of relate to animals in that way. Animals are the innocent amongst us, just like children are. You know, farm animals specifically have no control over their destiny, and we do with them as we please. When I turned 18, I picked up some literature one day and started reading about how animals were treated, and I was pretty shocked by that. That led me to do some undercover work. I went to Texas, drove over 2,000 miles in one week, visiting stockyard after stockyard. What I saw during that week, just one week in Texas, and what I learned about humankind at its worst is what really inspired me to dedicate my life to being a voice for farmed animals. I think people are genuinely good and kind, but when information is kept from us, as it is in our food production, people are making uninformed choices. Once you see the reality of it, it's hard to turn away. I feel like I was put on this earth to be a voice for farm animals. And that's what I hope to inspire people who read this book to look a little closer at our relationship with animals and especially farm animals. If we can live happy and healthy lives without causing harm to others, why wouldn't we?